I am doing some Houdini stuff show while I'm talking about something different. Um, I hope by the way that the audio is fine. I have not reviewed it up until now. I've, um, you know, not really had the energy, I'd say, to do so. Um, today I am willing to create something using uh, uh, VOPs, which is just visually scripting things like you might be uh, familiar with in, in Rhino Grasshopper, for example, and many more things. But um, yeah, this is what we're going to do today. Um, for this, I think we are going to go with a box. I don't know why I'm always going with boxes and we're going to subdivide it really really finely um can you please and i think what we now need is is it what, what, what am i finding here attribute ve what no this is definitely not what i need um is it this i think so yes um I think this apparently is what we need. Um, as I said, you can code it. I am not familiar with the language, so I'm not going to do so. Um, what we need now is uh, this place along normal thing. Then we can plug in the P and then the displaced P. So um, we can add some scale amount, whatever this is. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, um, let's maybe, I, I was interested in whether I can uh, plug in formula math, whether I can plug in some function. Apparently, no, I can't. So therefore we're gonna just use uh, a noise. It's gonna be indeed a uh, Unified noise, noise, space, pyro, field noise. Um, I would like to have a flow noise. So what can I plug in there? Um, what if we just do this? Can I do something then? Is something happening there? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe... Uh, noise maybe we use a uh, turbulent noise something yeah there i have some 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 things there yeah um i i would really assume that the noise goes into the amount i don't know if it goes into the amount i really don't but we're gonna see maybe it's also gonna go into the p uh which would also kind of make sense um, I've watched a video yesterday on, on how to do it. Uh, might be the case that I've already forgotten. Yes, but never mind. Um, definitely the displaced P goes into this P and displaced number probably goes into number. Um, where this goes is the question now. Maybe also the P goes inside there and the noise goes inside the amount or then in the scale or the shear, <laughs> the type of noise. Can I? No, apparently I can't do this. I actually thought that I knew how to do this. P is actually a vector. And so it should actually also be, yes, position is also a vector. So this should work. Um, What if we're doing this? What if I'm doing that? Um, do it. Oh, this is the problem. Okay. So notes to myself, you need to activate things so that you can actually see something. So the question is, yes, it does something. Roughness. I want it to be quite rough. And it already looks quite interesting. The question is, what if I 
do this and and all that okay i see it does something um it's not really what i think i want to have so we're gonna get rid of this and this is what we're having um i do like this here in the middle i think it has something um it is not as nice as i would like it to be the question is do i need that do i need that i see um so the noise just goes into the amount and then it would actually already do something but definitely not into the p okay so the p is not of importance here um okay that is nice so we're having that uh, i would like to have another noise i i don't know but i think that the flow noise was actually quite interesting unified noise veroni noise anti-allied flow noise i think that i'm willing to have this one yeah right um position goes into that nose goes into the amount and we'll see what is gonna happen i do not really like this shit there i think it is interesting the question is what if the roughness goes up okay roughness going up is actually not that interesting to be honest and what is also not that good is that we are apparently having no normals so either this thing okay or uh having normals before indeed could potentially solve that but it's okay i think um 1d noise 3d noise i would like to have a 3d noise for whatever reason ah, and that we're having the flow you know which could indeed really create interesting shapes and and things and and, and stuff and um, I mean, the whole attribute thing, the whole BOP thing can really indeed, I believe, uh, upgrade self-affection. Um, upgrade things by quite a bit. What if we... Oh, okay. If we do this to 10, what is actually always quite interesting that it is always like this star form that is being created for whatever reason. Um, so we might drop that to one actually because I don't like this star form. I've seen enough of this star form. Okay, there is nothing happening there. Um, okay, I see. So what if I do 10, 10, 10? Everything is all right, yeah. Then I create something like this which um i think is actually quite okay maybe just a bit too much for my taste it might actually also have something to do with the amplitude yes i mean this could be a, a rock a solid rock and um, we might actually indeed go back to this and um maybe scale it like that um, might make it quite the interesting thing yes um, we go back into this here and we might actually be uh, merging those two noises that we're having um, might actually also no the roughness is actually not that interesting self-affection is was also not that interesting flow rate okay this is doing something okay uh what can we do else here ripples boxes oh there we're having something really interesting something really really interesting um i don't know if you're familiar with mandel boards or uh whatever you pronounce it mandel bulb but there's also another thing is basically fractals and fractals are one of the most interesting geometric shapes that i've seen in my whole entire life i think um they're so interesting just because there is so much detail in them 
the question now is can i do this and then do that and make something and yes apparently we can make something and we can also change the frequency there to 10 apparently less frequency is better so we're gonna do this and it is really interesting this is really cool um it just gives me uh, you know so many so many different things that that we could now be doing and also i myself could be doing um the question is max ita the amount there is nothing more i can change there. i'm just using the uv what is the velocity what is going to happen then apparently nothing yeah i just you know need the position there um displacement as far as I know, we could also add something there. Add, add constraint, add point, add um, input sum. What if I just get rid of these two and do this? I mean, now it is adding it. Um, I might be able to to add two to noises there. Um, we're just gonna leave it at this just because. Oh, I see. Okay, um, <laughs> this shape. It's really not that interesting. Okay, nothing is happening there either. Um, we could, I think, also yes, have a look at that then. Um. I would like to know where the displacement is, whether there, yes, there is displace along normal. Um, control flow, block begin, convert, degrees to radians, float to matrix, vector to vector two. I, <laughs> I believe that there are so many, so many things one could be doing there. Generic geometry, near point. But, you know, this is creating really good shapes, I think. Um, you know, if there was any way to further, which probably is, further um, detail it with this Mandel Bulper, which was there, Mandel Brot set. Okay, stripes, soft dots, soft dots again. Um, might be interesting to see whether we can can we just can we just um can i do something like this or do i have to combine it then okay this is possible which is definitely, you know, not too interesting. I also don't really grasp what is happening there, to be honest. But I can just take this. Okay, apparently it's affecting the other one then. So we might actually, first of all, get rid of those noises. Um, we might add a combine or multiply maybe multiply is interesting um and we are just gonna take those two add this into the amount and see what is happening and i do actually think that i like what i'm seeing there it's one and a bit more of that the question is what is going to happen when I add another one? Okay, multiply. What about add? What about add? Okay, this is creating that. 
which is also not too interesting. Um, what if I do this then? I mean, there are so many things that you could be doing down there. Um, I actually gonna make this a bit bigger and zoom in a bit. Um, we might like. Okay. That is interesting. Not gonna lie. Um, what about the p then? Okay, the p value does not do much. Um, we might actually choose this p and do that and not that apparently. Scale. I mean, we could then scale it. For me, the question always is, um, what if I do that? Okay. Um, it's just gonna get bigger. This is just gonna get bigger. I mean, I do like the general form of it, you know, what it does, but what if I get rid of the P? Apparently this does nothing. Um, we have matrix, we have material effects, we have quaternion, whatever this is. We have pyro, dual rest, pyro displays. Um, can I do something with that? P displays. Can I just plug that in there? And this in there. This place amp. Okay, I see. Does this do something over time? No, it doesn't. I see. I see. What about that? I think that there are just, you know, trillions of options that one could go through. Hmm. Pyro displays. I do not necessarily like it that much, but I would like to, to have this, 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 maybe we indeed combine one noise with the mandel board thing. Um, I just don't know what I did there now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I see. Does the shear actually also do something? Apparently not. Can I do this? No, I can't. Um, so I might actually, what about math actually? Exponential. Divide. Round to in the sign. Hmm. What if I do that? <laughs> I mean, uh, it could really get Get, get interesting there. The question as well is whether I should just, you know, subdivide it even more to just, you know, create more detail. And yes, it apparently does create a bit more detail. Not too much, not too interesting, but it does something. Um, we might actually also have a look at, let's, let's get actually rid of this, these few things. Um, and create something good. Something good, something interesting. Um, patterns, we have patterns there. Um, what does this pattern actually do? We're gonna have a displace distance, displace along nose distance. Yeah, I think indeed we just need this amount to amount point to point okay this actually also already does something 
frequency. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, frequency, offset, and the radius. Okay, apparently this is just something now. Okay. Uh, we are having... What about cellular noise? Do we have a UV there? Yes, we indeed have a UV there. But nothing too interesting happening. Um, I think that we are... Indeed, just going to use a noise, maybe even a periodic whirly noise, and see what this is doing. Or we're going to just choose uh, a noise that we know is working, or does something at least. Um, the curl noise, or was it the curl noise that I was thinking about? Might have actually been the curl noise. might have indeed been the curl noise that I think was doing something interesting. Um, we are maybe going to set the roughness to... does not work um i mean it's interesting shapes but nothing to i can oh i can change i can change oh no nothing to nothing too great there radius time normal what if i just plug it into the p i mean this is cool this is really cool. And this into the amount. And what if I... I change that? What if I change the frequency? I mean, it looks like one big pile of something. And yes, oh, okay, yes, it's it's like a sinus curve or something. I don't know. <laughs> and we might actually indeed also use the uh, Mandelbrot pattern then. Soft dots, ripples, hexagons. Or we might have a look at the tiled hexagons. Hex UV. Does this do something? Does this do something? Of course. Um, we might. Is there a UV? No, there isn't. Size offset. ID. What is ID even? Does something happen there? Okay. Um, we are just going to use the Mandel board. And plug the amount there and see what is happening. Nothing too interesting is happening. Uh, what if we choose this noise, plug it into UV, and then also this to the P. I see. Okay, this is happening then. And that is happening then. Um, what about the amount into D? No. I mean, this this has something. It, 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 it definitely has some detail. I like that. But, you know, once again, nothing too concrete. Maybe it's also the manual board that I don't like that much. I don't know.
also does not necessarily do too much. Maybe the offset. <laughs> Maybe also the frequency indeed. And there again the P. No. Um, let's just get rid of the mandal. I do like this thing. We might actually indeed also plug in this and see what's happening and nothing happens. Good. Um, let's get rid of you and let's see if everything is fine there. Yes, it is. So we're having this pile of stuff. It's just some, some noised stuff. Um, what if we subtract something from another? This input and that input and plug it into the P. And it already looks like something a bit more. Um, what about the amount? I like it. I actually indeed like it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm seeing there, but I enjoy it. Maybe also doing this. No, this did not do that much. Because it has some, some smaller things, some bigger things, yeah. some things. Um, yeah. I mean, this has something. Is this a flower now? Is this a flower now? No, it's just... Some shit. Hmm, this is not too bad indeed. Shia, t -shia. We're just gonna, <laughs> gonna plug in everything that we have in here. And we are gonna add another... Maybe just, you know, this thing. And we're gonna add it into here. We're gonna use this position and see what is happening. Amplitude. Okay, roughness. A lot of roughness. Not a lot of roughness. I do actually like this kind of organic shape that we're having here. What about the kernels actually? Okay, I see. Apparently we need a lot of roughness there. Or just not a lot of roughness and a lot of attenuation. Maybe a lot of turbulence. Maybe we need a lot of roughness. I think I do like this shape. I think that I'm going to end there. I guess that, you know, we have achieved something quite interesting. So yeah, um, hopefully we're going to see you soon.